Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU Stad Manchester United 2 Newcastle nail. Full time, it is all over now. We are the champs, people. We are the champs. This is the first trophy that Eric Ten Hag needed to win, and he's done that. I mean, this is an amazing feeling. It's always important to win your first trophy, and he puts that in. It is a massive, massive trophy for us in terms of moving forward and how this team is going to progress into next season. Even we still are in four competitions now. We just won one. We're still in the Premier League title race, whether you like it or not. We're still in the FA Cup, still in the Europa League as well. What a magnificent result this is and a big, big win for Eric Ten Hag. And we were desperate. I mean, look at look at the fans. Look at the fans all celebrate how they celebrate. I mean, we were desperate for a trophy. It's been four or five seasons now. We haven't seen any trophies in this club. And Eric Ten Hag came in his first season. He got us a trophy. Big, big job. Well, what a job he has done. I mean, what a job he has done. This game was unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. The Newcastle players, obviously, they dropped to their knees. Disappointment for Eddie, uh, Eddie Howe's side at this club. I mean, they were waiting for a trophy and they couldn't get it this time around. United are celebrating. We are on celebration mode now. Glory, glory, man. United rings out, people. It rings out. The players are in a, in a huddle. And right now, I'm looking at the players. They're celebrating their first trophy since 2017. It's about... You know, it's about one time, uh, one man. He has transformed the team from whiners, a bunch of whiners, to actually winners now. We got Casemiro in, we got Martinez in, we, we got Varane in. All these are leaders and winners, people. What a job Eric Ten Hag has done so far. Uh, the players are out there, and a lot of players are out there now. They, they should have been. They should not have been for Manchester United. They should not have been playing the likes of Fred, the likes of McTominay, all these players that, that have struggled at the highest level last season or the previous seasons. Now they are actually uh, shining. They're shining because of the formation we're playing, because of how Eric Ten Hag has put this team together. And you have to give him a lot of credit for that. You have to give him a lot of credit for that. The spirit we have in the, uh, and the fight we have in this team is just is just unbelievably good now at this moment in time. And and what a what a platform Eric Ten Hag has now uh, built at Old Trafford. I mean, we are still in three competitions, just like I said. Confidence in the Manchester United dressing room will be through the roof at this moment in time. You can imagine. And what an end to the season this could be. At Old Trafford, people. I can't wait, people. This is just the beginning. This is just the start. And look at the players and the supporters' reaction. I mean, it's, it's, it's outstanding. We all are jumping, guys. We all are jumping. And what a job, like I mentioned. I cannot uh, stress enough what a job Eric Ten Hag has done. At the end of last season, some of those players were not actually part of a team labeled as a disgrace uh, by by me, by everybody. I mean, everybody was calling them they were a disgrace, but look at them now. They completely turned it around, completely turned it around from 2003 to 2006. Uh, even at that time, we didn't win 80 trophies. We didn't win 80 trophies. So if you feel like you're never going to win a trophy or you're never going to win uh, a league again, but this manager comes in, he's given us belief. He's given us belief that we can achieve anything with Eric Ten Hag. We can win the league. We can actually compete in the Champions League next season. And we still we still can win the Europa League as well. Um, and, and not to mention, not to mention that We've closed the gap on Arsenal and Manchester City. Clearly, you can see that this season. That is very clear. I mean, Eric Ten Hag loves to say, it's clear, it's clear. <laughs> He's right. He's right because we are actually closed. We've closed the gap on Arsenal, closed the gap on Man City. Look at Liverpool now. They look like they're going to collapse. And we've, we've closed the gap. So next season, I expect this team to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Man City or any team, Chelsea, whatever it is that team is going to be at the top. I expect Manchester United to compete at the at the highest level. But tonight, look, I mean, tonight is all about the glory. It's all about the glory and what a win it was. Uh, where do I start? I mean, let's talk about the game a little bit before I finish here. But 
Casemiro, you know what he does. Casemiro got us that goal that we needed. He got us that goal that we needed from set piece. Luke Shaw with the cross. Casemiro hits it home. You're thinking one nil, and that is it. And then the second goal came from uh, through Weghorst. Weghorst with the assist for Marcus Rashford. And Rashford shot. I thought it was def deflected. I think they took the goal away from Marcus Rashford, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But originally, the goal was actually given for Marcus Rashford. But now it's, it's probably ended up being an own goal, but I really don't care. That's how the second the second goal was uh, was scored. But after that, you look at the management from Eric Ten Hag. He immediately puts it McTominay and Sabatzer, and he takes off Fred. That's how you manage a game. That's a proper coach. We just managed that game in the second half. We didn't want to really attack. We could have scored more on account of Bruno had a chance. Uh, uh, Rashford had a chance. Anthony was kind of wide open. Uh, uh, and But we, we managed the game completely in the second half by putting in, like I said, Bruno, not Bruno, Sabatzer and uh, McTominay just to study the ship and defend and making sure not to give anything, not to give any hopes for Newcastle. And that's exactly what we did in the second half. And that is props to Eric Ten Hag just... Looking at the game, he's probably the best manager right now in Europe, making changes at halftime and actually putting players in that can actually impact the game. That's that's he's one of the best at it. That he's one of the best at it. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure when when I saw the lineup with for Vegholz starting in the lineup. I wasn't sure, and I didn't like the first half how we performed. But as soon as we scored that set piece goal, everything changed. Everything completely changed, and we start to get more confidence we start to get in rhythm and Newcastle just sunk down uh, after that and second half like I said we just managed the game completely managed the game uh, man of the match who would you give it people who would you give it man of the match I would I would give it to Casemiro I would give it to Casemiro I think he's done really well and that goal is key that goal was actually big it was a big big goal to in this final and the first goal is always key in the final and Casemiro has given us that and he was solid in the middle of the park as well. Uh, I want to talk about Juan Basaka quickly before I finish. Juan Basaka came in at halftime replacing Dalot. Dalot was actually struggling against Maxima on that right-hand side. And the game was 2-0 by then. Second half started. Guess what Eric Ten Hag does? Put the Spider-Man in. Juan Basaka, 1B. He just came in trying to contain uh, uh, Maxima and that right wing and he did fine he did he did fine i wouldn't say he completely pocketed him but he did really well uh we didn't concede uh there were no threat uh on that right hand side after wan Basaka came in so big up for uh wan Basaka. i mean props to wan Basaka for doing that uh he turned he, he made it he made a solid he made a solid in that final uh, the other change we saw is Sancho getting in. Really didn't really do anything. I think it's just to give him minutes. But Garnacho didn't get him in, uh, come on. I was really surprised by that. But what do you guys think about Maguire coming in to lift a trophy? Is that fair? Is that not fair? Let me know in the comment sections. I didn't like it. I didn't like it whatsoever because he doesn't deserve it. He didn't actually play. He didn't play in the final. He didn't play most of our games this season. So I don't think he should be lifting the trophy. I, I thought Bruno should have lifted the trophy, but for some reason, there's still politics going on in this Manchester United team. Why is, uh, why is Maguire coming in and lifting the trophy? But that is some negative. I don't want to take this video into a negative direction, but the fact is, we've won a trophy here, and tonight we celebrate. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, you're mad at the match. Leave them uh, down in the comment sections. As always, don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But I'll see you on the next one. I'm celebrating tonight, people. Let's go, Man United. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Peace.